those just joining us, a tense standoff continues at a Walmart in Dearborn, Michigan, where a gunman has taken at least 20 people hostage. The police received this 911 call from inside the store one hour ago. There's a man shooting at Walmart. I don't normally shop here or anything. I just ran in real quick to get a couple things. We're joined now by Brian Scott, who's standing by outside the Walmart parking lot. Brian, what do we know about this situation? We know the suspect is a white male in his 40s who drew a gun on security guards after being caught shoplifting a pair of pants. Okay. He's also refused to communicate with police other than to just hold up a sign stating that the pants were not Walmart brand. Friends and family members of some of those trapped inside have begun gathering outside the store, Brian? Yeah, that's right. Yes, I talked to this woman just minutes ago. My sister Ellen is in there. She, she's not shopping, shopping. She's, she's shopping for a vacuum cleaner. I mean, where else are you supposed to get a vacuum cleaner? Andrea, the gunman has reportedly corralled all the hostages into the back of the Walmart near the TVs, which they apparently sell there. I wouldn't know. No, me either. But I understand that the police tried negotiating with the gunman to at least move the hostages to Crate and Barrel next they, door. They had been. Uh, ultimately, though, the Crate and Barrel saying they couldn't accommodate them. They said I see. They, they just didn't think the Walmart shoppers would be comfortable in their store. But now police are working to get them into the Best Buy down the road. Okay, I mean, that wouldn't be nice or anything, but at least it would be a step up. Obviously, yeah. Police also working on another plan to get the gunman to release a couple of hostages in exchange for having the media refer to him as the department store shooter or men's section gunman I see. instead of Walmart shooter. Okay, Brian, now, is anyone there right now? Uh, actually, Andrea, I'm going to cut you off right now. The, okay. Apparently, a single hostage okay. has just been hostage. released. No, no, uh, I was just shopping over at the shoe store. I must have hurt myself getting shoes. Okay, hopefully she's getting medical attention. Absolutely. Brian Scott, thank you so much. We're going to be checking back with you as soon as there's more information available. And, and, and just to be clear, I'm only here because of the hostage situation. That's right. The, the Walmart Corporation released this statement on their website earlier in the hour saying, we are deeply concerned for the safety of our Dearborn customers and staff. And for the record, the Public Relations Department of Walmart has a nice office. It's not like we work out of one of the stores. Most of us haven't even been to a Walmart in years. Moving on, Brazil was snubbed at the International Ass Festival this year.